In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make 10 shadow options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks when I click. It will show you the first option. You can see the shadow effect here. And I've put a bigger the option number one here. And you can add the text option, first option, along with the icon and the detailed text. So this is the second option with different color, third option, fourth, fifth, sixth option, seventh, eighth, ninth and 10th and along with this one i have made one more with only eight options you can see here without any animation effect so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and change the background to light gray color and go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle draw the rectangle again the height and width according to your requirement and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to select white and i can give a gradient also for that right mouse click go to format shape and select the gradient fill you can see here both are gray color only so i'm just going to select one part and i'm going to make it white and i can just change the direction the white should come on top you can see here and here you have to select the same color which is there uh, in the background you can see here and then you can select this one and make it fully transparent so it looks something like this right if you want you can make it bigger also more wider also now after this i'm going to give a shadow effect for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select this right triangle from the basic shapes draw the right triangle shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give a black color so the shadow should be the other side so just go to rotate and you can select flip vertical now select this and make it more transparent you can see here something like this and you can go to effects and from the soft edges you can increase the soft edges let me just make it maybe this much size and if you want you can increase also and put it here and then go to format send this to back and you can go and increase the transparency level also further you can see here so it looks something like this and again if you want you can increase the size and make sure that it is always sent to back so once this is done bring this to front let me just reduce the size a little bit yeah this is good and i can increase the size of this now after this i'm going to insert text box and i'm going to type one you can see here and make the font as white make it center align bold increase the size you can see here again how much size you need you can increase it and just put it here and again you want you can add some shadow effect here also you can make it a whole shape again shape outline make it no outline and i can select this go to home format painter just click here and make it more transparent you want and you can increase the the soft edges also and just put it here and this also you can just make it send to back and again if you don't want this color this uh, shape you can change the shape to the like this also a rectangle also whichever way you feel better you can just change it and then go to insert text box i'm going to add the first option i'll just say first option or first step whatever you feel better just add it here make it bold and give some good colors you can see here and if you have the icons you can simply go to icons and then insert the icons or if you don't have this particular feature you can just add simply the detailed text i'll just say add your detail text here again reduce the size and put it here something like this so you can see here our first uh, option is ready and then it's time for us to just select all press ctrl g to group it 
and then how many options you need you can just simply duplicate it so let me just duplicate this select press ctrl d to duplicate and this is my second option third option fourth option and you want you can make it five options also or you can give equal spacing for example i want to give equal spacing here i'll select all these four go to format align and distribute horizontally you can see here and then just change the number this to two three and four and if you want you can add more options at the bottom and then you can change the font colors also according to your size or your colors so you can see here i've just given some different color combinations here and that make it this one as second this is third and this is fourth now i'm going to select all this press ctrl d to duplicate and just bring it more down you can see here something like this and then just change the number to five six seven and eight so you can see here this is done and if you want you can make it 12 options also 10 options also it's up to your requirement that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye